Hello. Brilliant bikes. Ruby's 11 and she loves making things. She's loved making all kinds of things since she was about three. Her parents didn't buy her dolls or clothes for birthday presents. They gave her paint, glue, scissors and pieces of wood. Ruby wants to be an engineer. She made a brilliant toy racing car six months ago. And I'm going to make the fastest racing car in the world one day, she told her grandfather. Last month, Ruby was walking past the town fire station when she saw a poster on the wall. It said, Under 12's bike race, 21 kilometers, Sunday, June 18th, email richard.black at metau or phone 933572 to find out more. Ruby knew her bicycle wasn't fast enough to win a race. It was also too small for her now. Perhaps I can make a new one, she thought. Could I have the old metal lamp that's in the cupboard under the stairs, she asked her mother. You never use those old motorbike parts that are in your garage, she said to her uncle. Can I have some of them to help make my new bike? She asked other people in her family for different things too, and soon the garden was full of pieces of metal and plastic. This is great, she thought. I just need a second wheel now. She decided to go and ask the new family in the flat on the third floor. Perhaps they could help her. She ran upstairs and knocked on the door. What do you want? said the girl who opened it. Have you got an old bicycle wheel? Ruby said. I need one so I can ride in the under 12th race. No, I haven't, the girl said. Her name was Victoria Rich. But I'm going to win that race. My brilliant silver bicycle is the fastest bike in town. Now please go away. I'm playing the piano. And Victoria Rich closed the door. Well, thought Ruby, she wasn't very friendly. Ruby's grandfather phoned her that evening. Ruby told him about the unfriendly girl and about the wheel that she still needed. I'll come and see you tomorrow, he said. I'll bring you a wheel and something else that will help. Don't worry. We'll make a brilliant bike for you too. Here you are, he said when he arrived with a wheel the next morning. And this spanner is for you. I've had it for 40 years. It's very special. It can fix anything. Ruby took the spanner carefully and turned it over and over in her hand. It's a brilliant present and I'll use it a lot, I'm sure. She said quietly, thanks, Grandpa. They started to work and they worked all day until the bike was ready. Ruby stood up and looked at it. Wow, it's brilliant, Grandpa. She laughed. She went riding on her bike every morning and each time she rode it faster. Sometimes a metal or plastic piece fell off and Ruby had to stop, go back and fetch it. But Ruby always had the spanner in her pocket. It could fix any problem. On the day of the race, Ruby and her family arrived at the starting line early. About 50 children from the town were already there. Ruby suddenly saw Victoria, who was sitting on her beautiful bike. She had a big smile on her face. Victoria looked at Ruby's bike and laughed. But Ruby's grandfather put his arm around Ruby's shoulder and whispered, Remember, your bike is brilliant too. Then the race started. The first six kilometers around the lake were easy. The next five kilometers through the wood were more difficult and four of the children decided to stop. The next nine kilometers over the hills and past the farms were very hard work and lots more children were too tired to cycle anymore. But Ruby didn't stop. More and more children stopped and more and more parts of Ruby's bike fell off. But with her special spanner, Ruby could fix anything. When Ruby was only one kilometer from the end, Victoria was only about 20 meters in front of her. Ruby was very tired. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to finish this race. Victoria may win, she thought. But my bike is brilliant too. Suddenly, a kangaroo hopped across the road just in front of them. Victoria nearly fell off because she was so surprised. Her back wheel started wobbling very badly, so she got off to look at it. Well, I may win now, Ruby thought when she raced past Victoria. But Victoria looked so angry and sad that Ruby turned her bike round 
and cycled back again. I can fix your bike with my special spanner, Ruby said. It will only take a minute. Don't worry. You're very kind, Victoria said. I'm sorry for being so unfriendly. Perhaps we can both win this race. That sounds like a great idea, Ruby said and smiled. There, it's fine now. Victoria and Ruby got back on their brilliant bikes and cycled together to the finishing line. When they crossed it, Ruby waved the spanner in the air and her grandfather clapped and shouted, Well done! One day, Ruby, he said, that special spanner is going to help you to make the fastest racing car in the world. I know, Ruby answered. Goodbye.